a windy, rainy afternoon and evening is in store for Alabama. Wind advisories went into effect for several areas in state on Wednesday as the next storm system moves closer to Alabama. However, the National Weather Service in Birmingham canceled the advisory for central Alabama just after 1 p.m., saying that wind speeds had remained below advisory levels. The combination of an area of high pressure to the east and, and an approaching cold front from the west will gin up winds across the state today. The National Weather Service said winds will be sustained at 15 to 20 miles per hour and could gust to 35 miles per hour this afternoon in northern parts of South Alabama, which could make driving challenging for high-profile vehicles. Gusts could be even stronger in higher elevations. Wind advisories in effect for southwest and south Alabama from noon until 7 p.m., for north Alabama from noon until 8 p.m. In addition to the winds, expect rain and a few storms later today. A cold front is expected to move into the state later this afternoon and could generate a few stronger storms as it does. NOAA's Storm Prediction Center upgraded its severe storm risk level from marginal to slight on Wednesday morning for part of north and central Alabama, indicating a better chance of a few severe storms later this afternoon. A marginal risk area was extended southward to the south of Troy and Greenville. Forecasters there said the late afternoon into the evening will be the main window for storms. A slight risk means scattered severe storms are possible. A marginal risk means that the severe storms will be more isolated. The National Weather Service in Birmingham and Huntsville said Wednesday morning that strong wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour and quarter-size hail will be the biggest concerns with the strongest storms, which were expected to affect western Alabama later this afternoon and move eastward. The winds are expected to die down after the front passes tonight. Forecasters are thinking the severe weather risk will stay on the lower end because dew points are starting out low and won't have time to rise much before the front moves in. That wouldn't provide enough lift for widespread severe weather, but a few storms will be possible. Today's front is the first of many to affect the state in the next few days. The next will be on Thursday, followed by another on Friday night and another on Monday. The Friday front is expected to bring a shot of noticeably cooler air to parts of the state on Saturday and Sunday. Low temperatures could dip into the 30s in northern parts of central Alabama by Sunday morning, with low 40s for parts of South Alabama as well.